I'd like to share with you an incredible miracle that took place in 1972 in Lourdes with Sister Mary McGuire, an Ursuline sister from Canada. Now, this story you're not going to find anywhere else on the internet. And to my knowledge, the details of this event have never been published. The sources I have for this story are two. Number one, my great uncle, Father Lucien Larry. He's a very well-known Catholic priest here in Canada, and he witnessed this miracle with his own eyes, was there at Lourdes when this happened. And number two, I have obtained a letter written by Sister Mary McGuire detailing what happened in her life at that time. It's dated November 15th, 1974. And this letter is written to another sister in Brazil who had asked, what has happened in your life? And what has happened in her life is truly miraculous. Sister Mary wheeled herself into a Montreal hospital seeking a doctor's help. She was confined to a wheelchair. The doctors, after examining her, said she would likely never walk again because she had MS, multiple sclerosis. Upon hearing the diagnosis, Sister Mary's thought immediately went to Our Lady of Lourdes, and she felt a need to go to Lourdes, and she felt that Our Lady of Lourdes would heal her by her intercession. But she never shared this desire with anyone. For two years, her health deteriorated. She lost control over her bowel and bladder. She went blind in her left eye. Her right eye was blurry. She was in constant pain. She had no balance. She said she didn't know up from down. But yet she still had this desire to go to Lourdes. But she didn't want to tell anyone because she didn't, felt like she was not in a condition to travel. For two years, this desire persisted to the point where she started dreaming about being in Lourdes. This desire was so strong within her and it actually increased that it felt as though it was haunting her. Finally, she made her desire known. The first person she told was my great uncle, Father Lucien Larry. When he heard of her desire to go to Lourdes to seek Mary's intercession, you know, most people would have said to her, you know, Sister Mary, you're not doing very well. You're not in condition to travel internationally. Maybe we should just ask Our Lady's intercession here. But not Father Larry. He responded by saying, why not? <laughs> Well, many people could have come up with reasons to answer that why not. Besides the physical condition of Sister Mary, it was the financial one. They had no money. That problem was solved pretty quickly. They raised the funds, and in late April, they set off by plane to France. When they arrived in Paris, Sister Mary's health had really deteriorated, and they couldn't continue to trip on to Lourdes. For the next four days, Sister Mary remained in France with Father Larry just recovering. In the meantime, Father Larry secured a rental van and got a hospital bed put in there so that Sister could lie down as they traveled the rest of the way on the road. They arrived in Lourdes on the first Saturday of May. They made their way down to the grotto for a candlelight procession where 50,000 people had gathered that day. It was a beautiful sight. People praying in all sorts of different languages, holding candles. But Sister Mary McGuire, she was unmoved. She experienced nothing except weakness, exhaustion, and despair. She said life had never seemed so dark to her. After the candlelight procession, Father Larry wheeled Sister Mary McGuire down to the rock that sits below the statue of Our Lady of Lourdes, where Mary appeared to St. Bernadette in 1858. As they drew closer to that rock, Sister Mary reached out her hand and touched it. And when her fingers came in contact with the rock, she experienced an electric shock. And then she leaned forward and she kissed the rock, and her lips went numb. She asked Father Larry if he experienced anything. He said he had not. So she thought she had imagined the whole experience. The next day, Sunday, they went to Mass, and then they left Lourdes and went to Spain to deal with some insurance issues. And they had planned to stay in Spain for the next couple of days. But when they arrived there, Sister Mary felt this compulsion, this movement within her heart to return back to Lourdes. 
And Father Larry actually experienced something very similar. So they changed their plans again, got back into that van, and drove back to Lourdes. They arrived Tuesday, May 7th at noon, and they immediately made their way down to the grotto, where Sister Mary was placed behind 850 really sick people, people in wheelchairs, people on stretchers, and they began to pray. And they prayed from noon until 4 p.m. And it is during this time that Sister Mary said she experienced a great spiritual miracle. God gave her the grace to only want His divine will. She wanted nothing else but union with God. She accepted God's will for her life. She said she did not care if she remained confined to that wheelchair. She accepted her death. And she began to pray for the other people around her because she felt they were worse off than herself. I find this remarkable. There she is in Lourdes, in a place where miracles have happened. She's there in a wheelchair herself, sick, and she's no longer asking for her, a miracle for herself. But now she's praying for other people, and she only wants union with God. After they finished praying, after 4 p.m., Father Larry wheeled Sister Mary McGuire once again down to the rock that sits below the statue of Our Lady of Lourdes, and once again rolled her close to the rock where she reached out and touched it. And this time when she touched the rock, she experienced a terrific electric shock. Then she leaned forward, she kissed the rock. Her lips again went numb. But this time, a tingling started traveling throughout her entire body and into her legs. And Sister McGuire knew that she was cured. She said, I can walk, and started to try and get out of her wheelchair. Father Larry said, don't be silly, you'll fall down. Sister McGuire said Father Larry came out in front of her to catch her. But I've, I've heard Father Larry said he came out in front of her to push her back down into the wheelchair. <laughs> Sister McGuire got up out of that wheelchair. She pushed past Father Larry and took off running. Father Larry went pale and then yelled after her, Wait for me! <laughs> Sister McGuire ran up and down the steps of the basilica. She said she felt as though she was in a trance. She was overjoyed. She began to tell everyone about her healing. Father Larry had a different experience. He was in shock for about a week. <laughs> And they remained in Lourdes for the next 15 days, giving praise and thanksgiving to God. Because Father Larry is my great uncle, I knew about this story. I also heard how my grandma, his sister, responded to this. Because my grandma knew that Sister Mary McGuire had MS, and she was not convinced that sister was healed, even though her brother had witnessed the healing. She thought maybe, just maybe, Sister Mary was faking her healing. <laughs> and so it happened that there was a wedding in our small town in northern Saskatchewan, and Sister McGuire would be in, in attendance. So would my grandma. So my grandma had this idea she was going to put Sister McGuire to the test. She thought at the reception dance that she would ask Sister McGuire to dance. And if she said no, well, that would be a clear sign that she was not healed, or if she couldn't dance well. <laughs> So my grandma went up to Sister McGuire and asked her to dance. Sister McGuire said, sure. They went out onto the dance floor and danced. And after the dance, my grandma concluded, Sister McGuire is healed because she's a good dancer. Friends, do you need a miracle? Do you need healing? How about emotional healing from fear, anger, rage, bitterness, shame? Ask Our Lady's intercession. How about a spiritual miracle? You feel distant from God. You don't feel like He's present in your life and you just feel like you've wandered away from Him. Ask Our Lady's intercession. What, what about a physical miracle? 
There's something going on in your body. Ask Our Lady's intercession. How? We've created a novena prayer that is to be said for nine days in a row along with a rosary seeking Our Lady of Lourdes intercession. And if you start today, nine days end on the feast day of Our Lady of Lourdes, what a beautiful way to end a novena to Our Lady of Lourdes. Now, if you're watching this after the fact, well, you can start this novena anytime. But I'm encouraging you to say that novena along with us. We're going to say the novena prayer. It's going to be linked at the end of this video. And we're going to say the rosary every day as a family. If you have a need of healing, whether spiritual, emotional, or physical, why not ask Our Ladies of Lourdes intercession? You got nothing to lose and everything to gain. And when you say that novena and you begin to experience the blessing of God through the Our Lady's intercession, come back to this video and share that blessing in the comments. And please, friends, share this amazing story with other people by sharing this video and welcome them to start that novena because I'm sure Our Lady will not disappoint. Friends, thanks for watching. <laughs>